Hello, welcome to our daily time of reflection and prayer, just five to ten minutes every Monday to Friday, hopefully to help you keep your mind and heart focused on God for the day. My name is Rich Schmidt, one of the pastors here at Living Hope. Let's begin with this prayer. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity, and in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, with the rain outside today, it's reminding me of that, uh, that kid's song about the wise and foolish builders. I think one of my boys was singing it this morning uh, before they left. Do you know the one that I mean? Uh, about the wise man who built his house upon the rock? <laughs> And the rains came tumbling down, the rains came down, and the floods came up. I'm not going to sing the whole song, all right? But anyway, the, the song is helping kids and adults remember what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 7. It's the conclusion of what we call the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, Matthew chapters 5, 6, and 7 has Jesus doing some extended teaching on lots of different topics. Uh, prayer and worry and loving your enemies and nonviolent resistance, all sorts of things. And he says some things in there that followers of Jesus have often found quite difficult, quite challenging to actually put into practice. Uh, but here at the end, that's exactly what Jesus encourages us to do. He says, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. Jesus sets up a contrast here between two people, a wise man who builds his house on a rock, on a solid foundation, and a foolish man who builds his house on nothing but sand. They're both building a house, right? Just like we're all building a life. <laughs> it's unavoidable. Your life is happening. You are building your life on something. You are becoming someone. You know, the decisions that you make today you know, you're deciding who that person is going to be, what your life is going to be, what you're going to build your life upon. And both of these people face storms. The rain falls on both of them. They both go through hard times, just like we all go through hard times. Whether we're good or bad, Christian or not Christian, living for ourselves, living for God, we all go through storms in life. Challenges test us, every single one of us. The difference is in the foundation. What did they build their house on? Is it something solid that would sustain them through the storm so their house survives? Or is it something that gives way and leads to their house collapsing? Jesus says the difference is based on what we do with what he said. What we do with what he said. Remember, he said, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who builds his house on a rock. That house survives the storms of life. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like that foolish man who built his house on sand. That house does not survive, doesn't do so well. It fails spectacularly. So it all starts with listening to Jesus. You don't get very far toward putting uh, his teachings into practice if you haven't heard what he says in the first place. right? That's why you show up on Sunday mornings. It's why you uh, watch videos like this one. It's why you read your Bible during the week or tune in to Christian radio. Uh, you're wanting to listen to Jesus, you know, to hear what God is saying to you. But then the important part that determines whether your life stands firm through the storms of life or crashes and crumbles, are you going to wisely put the teachings of Jesus into practice or are you going to foolishly ignore him? Now, ignoring him is not quite right. That's not the right way to say it because you could pay close attention and still not do it. You could memorize the whole sections of scripture and still not put them into practice. Right? You could know that God commands us to love our neighbors as ourselves and then still not do it. It's just like my kids can know that they're supposed to stop, look both ways before they cross the street. But if they don't do it, knowing it doesn't do them any good. So today, I hope that you'll commit to doing both. To both listening to Jesus and to doing what he says. Building your life upon obedience to him. Trusting Jesus. We show that we trust him by following his instructions, by doing what he says. If we don't, it's like saying, I don't trust you, Jesus, to know what's best for me. I think I know better than you do what would be best for me. Let's not go down that road. Let's trust in him. 
As we begin to pray, I'd like to start with this prayer adapted from Psalm 19. The heavens declare your glory, O God. The skies proclaim the work of your hands. Day after day, night after night, they speak of you. Your instructions are perfect, refreshing the soul. Your decrees are trustworthy, making wise the simple. Your rules are right, giving joy to the heart. Your commands are radiant, giving light to the eyes. Forgive us, Lord, our hidden faults, and keep us from those deliberate sins that would rule us and ruin us. May the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. God, uh, we thank you for being gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. When we acknowledge our sins, when we turn away from them and put our trust in you, you forgive our sins and lead us into new life with you. You instruct us in the way we should go. So would you help us? Would you help us to follow your instructions, to build our lives on the solid foundation of obedience to your word? Your instructions, that psalm just said, I mean, they, they refresh our souls, they make us wise, they give joy to our hearts and light to our eyes. Thank you, God, for speaking to us. Would you help us to listen? Help us to hear you, and then help us to trust you, to follow your instructions for the life that we're building today. We know that we will face storms. We all do. You don't keep the storms from coming, but you do help us to make it through. You help us to make it through them intact, standing strong. Thank you, God, for the strength, the peace, the grace that you give. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, would you pray with me the prayer that Jesus taught us? Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.